I remember doing a video talking about don't date broke ass people. But you know what that video remind me of? Broke ass friends. Broke ass friends. How many of you have broke ass friends? Or how many of you had broke ass friends? Now, you are a direct reflection of those you hang around even if you're not them. What am I talking about? If you're in a group and everyone's speaking in ignorant, okay, they speak in what we call ghetto or country or unintelligent, <laughs> however, whatever it is for your situation, your environment, your neighborhood, then so do you too. Even if I don't know you, then some of you are like, I don't care what people say because I really don't. But nevertheless, back on the money piece, if all your friends are broke and you're the only one with a little bit of money, they'll want to drag and pull you down because the way they think about money, the way they think about careers, the way they think about jobs, the way they think about working hard is totally different than the way you do, okay? Than the way you do because the reason why they're broke mismanagement of their money. And this really has nothing to do with like investing. I mean, bump debt. They can't even get to the point of investing. They can't even get to the point of saving. They just continue to spend way above their means, okay? And this is a mindset that you do not want to get yourself trapped into. This is a mindset that you don't want them to contaminate your brain and your mind and then you fall into the same trap that they did. Why is this? Why is it that we work our butts off to get a better job or even start our own business to spend more money because we didn't have that much in the first place? But if you spend more than you make, what is that? I call that poverty. I call that being poor. Now, rich people may owe other rich people money, but it's on a different level because they, they still have money in the bank. They have million dollars in them. They just didn't want to touch that. That's like their little nest egg. And when I mean their little nest egg, their nest eggs be like two, three million. Okay. Take for instance, uh, MC Hammer. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to have all the details here, but when he filed for bankruptcy, he still had a million. When 50 Cent still filed for bankruptcy, he had put money in some sort of, you know, legal chapter file where it was basically for all his movies he wanted to come out with because you know, he started uh, Power and now he did this 50 Central thing. But I want to say like five years ago, six years ago, 50 Cent filed for bankruptcy. But rich people know how to protect their money, okay? They know how to protect their money. So they're on a different echelon. They're on a different level than us. So we need to understand that when you hang around friends like that, now, he been probably hanging around rich people. They're like, hey, man, you need to put your money here. So when you make your movies, blah, 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 you can still have money and you still use that loan and that capital to get things done and not use your petty, oh, not your petty cash, but your money you got to save that for you. I don't know all the details, but I know this. I know that friends are very persuasive in many avenues and you can be strong, but time, time, if you continue to hang around those friends because, oh, we grew up together and, oh, he helped me out, he saved my life. And there's a time where we break away from friends. There's a time that those people had a certain part of our life that no longer exists. Okay, we, we grow up and out of situations. So meaning that some people in your life are only there for a period of time. And you may love them um, and you may love everything about them, but they're not good for you. It's kind of like, you know, eating a, a month old bread, it's nasty. It, it, and that's how it's gonna be for you. If you do not understand that broke ass friends, and when I mean broke ass friends, I don't want you to think that I'm talking about, oh, they work at McDonald's, so I shouldn't hang around them. No, it's a mindset, okay? It's a mindset. And they will give you indicators like, they always going out and partying, okay? People who save money, people who invest money, Unless they are filthy rich, they don't go out all the time, okay? They save and invest their money. And they're like, oh, we're going to do it big. You can't do it big every weekend. Oh, we're going to do it big every weekend. If you got somebody with that broke mindset where you know they just bought a car, uh, 2017, they're like, oh, I'm about to go buy another car, 2018. Oh, then I'm going to tear it in and get another 2019. Does that sound like someone, especially who, you know, if, you don't, if you're not rich, that is doing right by their money? Does that sound like someone? I don't think so. Broke-ass friends 
are gonna end up having you broke and out in the cold. So I'm gonna tell you this. If you can't find nobody on your level, you're gonna have to be a warrior. You're gonna have to do this thing on your own. I surround myself with people, all right? My closest friends, they're about that money. They're about that money. They're about investing that money. They're about saving their money. They're about budgeting their money. And they sure damn well working on getting out of debt, okay? This is Ross World where if you don't have friends like you thinking the way you do, fuck them. Come to Ross World, look in the comment section and look at all those people commenting and messaging each other about stocks they're involved in itself in, index stocks, individual stocks, uh, budgeting. I just had a guy, I forgot his name, he was talking about how he did Mint, and I was like, yeah, I also did Mint as well. That's a budgeting app for you guys don't know. But we comment and we message each other down there and we give each other ideas, okay? We give each other uh, um, just all this information to help each other out because we're a family here, so we're trying to help each other out. Just like, I forgot the guy's name, excuse me, but you know who you are. He had told me about a stock called uh, B-Sun or BioSun. It's B-A-O. Z-U-N, but the ticker or the symbol on the stock market is B-Z-U-N. Then I had another subscriber who's a female. She also said that she invests in that stock as well. Now, that stock is doing pretty good. Now, last week, it was kind of rocky, but nevertheless, it's doing pretty good. Not going to be the hole in your head. That's just a good example of they're not broke-minded people on this channel. We're talking about we're trying to get that money. This is Ross World. I'm out.